The time has finally come for the full review of the Max Ace Amber 2S. Uh, I did a short video clip on this, just uh, you know, showing how it looks and you know, gave some initial impressions. But now I've had this knife in my possession for uh, for a few weeks or even longer than that, and it's been my EDC carrier for that time. So I feel a lot more confident talking about the knife now uh, that I have some you know, practical uh, experience with it. Uh, but let's start from the very beginning, uh, taking a look at uh, you know, the, the contents of the box. This is what you get uh, when you buy a, I guess, any knife from Max Ace. You get this uh, sort of... Uh, Leather-ish, or not really leather-ish, but it's you know carbon fiber-like uh, uh, poucher, which opens up with this uh, small zipper. And inside, I mean, obviously, I have opened this one, and uh, uh, this is pretty much what you will find inside it. So, first, a small um, a spare part, a thumb stud here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to need it. I don't think I will, but I mean, I I don't mind, you know, when when companies uh, 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 you know give you spare parts. I mean, it could potentially come in handy for for whatever reason. And uh, well, I I appreciate the the thought, uh, although I doubt I will ever have to use it. It's you know, it's a nice thing to have, just in case. Uh, you do also, of course, get the actual folder itself in this small plastic wrap here, which I'm going to throw away, or at least well, I'm not going to use it very much. So, as you can see, there is uh, you know space for two uh, folders if you want to have it in the same carrying pouch here. Um, the knife itself. I've said this before and I will say it again, this is a piece of art uh, and I mean I've been having this one in my um, in my pockets uh, not together with keys or anything, I mean it could probably uh, scratch the titanium and you know mess up nice finish but I have been carrying it uh, for some time without having any issues uh, with you know with no hairline scratches or scratches in general or anything like that. So it looks uh, almost like new, which it isn't. Um, and I you know I really like these Sermascus um, uh, you know, pocket clip and uh, I want to pile it. It's you know some adds some really nice <coughs> touches to. Uh, the knife and this which means it is indeed an integral and I have this uh, uh, here we have the logo or emblem I have this thing for integrals uh, I guess most people that know me uh, know that I'm a, a really big fan of them so that is a big plus just out of the box uh, we can see the title here of the knife or the model name Amber 2S and uh, here on the spine we can see the steel used S90V and uh, that is the steel that I have semi-limited experience with so I thought it was interesting getting a folder in that particular steel. Uh, I would probably prefer this steel over like S30V or probably CPM 20CV uh, and I think I, you know, my, my favorite steel is probably M390 or CTS uh, 204P, but this is definitely there in the top. Uh, you will get a really nice sharp edge, uh, highly stainless, but uh, you will have to work uh, to sharpen it should you manage to dull it. So that is something to think about that, I mean, great edge retention, nice, sharp edge, stainless, but 
you will it will take a longer time uh, putting the the edge back should you dull it completely uh, I doubt I ever will because I try to maintain my knives to the best of my ability so I don't have you know they never go really dull I never let it go that far to begin with regardless let's take a look at uh, the blade and you know right there we could see some nice uh, action frame lock Quite smooth. For me, this is in a good handle ergonomics. Uh, I have wear size 10 in gloves, and I still have some, uh, you know, some space left there. There is a small choil here, and my fingers might be a bit too thick, you know, to to properly use that uh, without risking to hurt myself. But since the handle is as, as large as it is, there are like zero issues with that. I can feel no, you know, no hot spots. It's, you know, not protruding in any way here. It's quite sleek. Uh, the pocket clip, still very functional pocket clip. I have been using it, uh, but it doesn't, you know, protrude or, you know, it's, it's quite, uh, quite smooth. Uh, which makes it, you know, less of an issue uh, for your hand or for the ergos and comfort. You got some really fine jimping going on here. Not sure how well that can be seen. To give you some extra friction here. And there's also a bit of a, a ramp going on. There are also some interesting or some pretty interesting grind lines on this model as well as a reinforced tip. Uh, you won't, you know, you, you will not damage this tip uh, easily. Not sure well it can be seen. It's quite sturdy. I really like the, the lines here, the grind lines. I think it's a big um, improvement and the general blade design here compared to the original uh, Max Ace Amber 2, uh, this being the 2S. So quite quite a different uh, blade design. I'm gonna try to edit in a photo of the of the original Amber 2, so you can see the differences in uh, in blade design. Uh, Looking at the specs here, so I've already stated that the steel used for this one is uh, CPM S90V. Uh, the blade finish is obviously a satin finish, uh, which I like a lot. Uh, the locking mechanism is a frame lock. Let's see, let's see if we can see how far it goes. It's pretty solid looking frame lock, in my opinion. Absolutely zero, you know, lock rock or anything like that. It's super smooth. Uh, I know some people might, or at least with the original Amber 2, uh, some people had an issue with uh, the frame lock here not being, um, uh, well, that it was semi tricky to open since it wasn't, you know, contoured in a way that could make it easy. But I have absolutely zero issues. Uh, you know, opening and closing like this. Regardless, let's um, take a look again at the handle. So we got some surmuscus here on the pivot and on the pocket clip. The overall length of this knife, this is not a small knife. This is, I'm gonna, you know, make a comparison with some of my other favorite models, but this is not a small knife uh, in any way. It's actually uh, 232 millimeters in total length. So, you know, around 23 centimeters, uh, which is not, you know, not really small. Uh, the blade length is, I believe, around 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters. And 
the blade thickness. It's not a super thin knife either, you know. The blade thickness here is four millimeters. A lot of steel. You can see the reinforced tip there. So, and the weight. Oh wait, we can you know, look at the length when you have completely uh, shut together here. Is uh, 133 millimeters. Let's take a look at the blade centering while we are at it. This blade centering is spot on. It's kind of difficult to show in the camera, I feel, but it's it's dead on the centering. I will say that you know my my thoughts about the fit and finish is that the fit and finish is impeccable. I have found nothing so far uh, to complain about in regards of fit and finish. In my first video that I made, like the very day I got the knife, uh, I said that this is a functional uh, work of art or piece of art. And uh, to this day, I claim the very same thing. This is the very definition even of functional art. The weight of this one is... Oh, give me a second here. Okay, let's see. Maybe I should actually do like this. So it's up more visible to you guys. Is it on? I think it's on. 152, 153 uh, grams. So like I said, it's not a, in any way, super light uh, knife. Not extremely heavy either. I mean, it's all about, you know, your own preferences and what you are used to carrying. Um, me, I have zero problems with, with a 150 gram folder, absolutely not. Um, like you can see, the, uh, the opening and closing action is, uh, is quite, quite smooth. So maybe we should take a look at some of my other favorite folders and do some comparisons. I know that is sometimes appreciated. I like that when people do it, uh, so I get a better sense. I mean, even if I have the, the actual specs and everything, I do appreciate uh, when I get it, you know, uh, side by side to some other uh, models that I that I enjoy uh, working with. So. Let's see which models we can compare it uh, to right now. Uh, for compare it to a Spartan Harsey folder. So here we have a uh, the Plague Doctor Spartan Harsey folder or Harsey folder. Um, you can see that uh, it is a, a slightly slightly larger knife, uh, both blade play length and handle. We can also put it uh, side by side here with a um, with a rekinderer. Uh, XM18 3.5. So it is also uh, the larger blade and longer overall. Let's see, let's keep it still like this. Like that. And then we can also go with a... I'm going with a lot of American blades uh, right now here because I do have a lot of American followers. So we can also take a look at um, a um, 
Chris Reeve. Uh, it's a Benson. Maybe we should actually go with this one in the middle. Could be uh, could be slightly better. So you get like a sense of um, of size here. A lot of you people probably already know that I am a big fan of um, of Wii knives, and I do think I want to put it side by side to. Um, some of my favorite knives from me knives. Uh, let's also take a look at it uh, side by side with the um, uh, with the SOCOM Alpha here. Um, something like that. Almost equal in size actually. The um, Maxis Ember 2S has a slightly longer blade and uh, uh, about the same, uh, slightly longer handle. But moving on here to my... Let's take a comparison with two of my favorite knives here from, from V Knives. Um, let's see... My first V knife I ever got, the 702A. Uh, which is still probably my favorite knife from Wii Knives. Uh, I also like the um, 604. Let's do it like this again here. I will take this one in between the middle here. So we get a you know a feeling of the the size here. Um, the camera angle might not be absolutely the best, but it's still uh, not. Too bad, to be honest. Uh, we can see that you know the Maxis is a a large knife, but it is you know not the others aren't too far away, uh, to be honest. And you know, comparing this one to my to my favorite knives from V knives and to my Hinderer or Chris Reeve or Spartan Harrison folder, uh, this one is you know there in the absolute top. Right now, I think that this is probably the the, um, uh, the folder I enjoy the most uh, to use and and carry. Maybe because I have been carrying it the most also uh, for the last couple of weeks, but it just you know it just. Just speaks to me, uh, both in the sign and in uh, Argos and in actual use. Uh, let's, uh, you know, I I haven't you know put it on the strap or done any you know uh, sharpening or anything to it. So, uh, but I think we can do a, a sharpness test of sorts, uh, slicing some paper, paracord, whatnot, and just you know uh, see how it performs after having been in duty for. Uh, for a few weeks, like I said, that you know CPM S90V, it does keep an edge for quite a long time. So let's uh, let's see what we can uh, see what we can accomplish here. Let's start off by slicing some uh, some random um, random magazine paper of sorts. Uh, trying to find a good angle for the camera that might actually be a bit tricky to be honest. Um, can I hold like this? Yeah, I don't know. So this is thin magazine paper of sorts. Um, I don't have any printing paper currently, but I, I mean this will this will work as a demo, I think. And like I said, I haven't you know I did clean the blade up a bit, uh, but I haven't done any any sharpening or anything to it. So let's see what we can do. Let's see, let's 
take another page. Kind of want a page with you know some darker tones so that we can easily or a bit more easily see when oops when we are slicing. It is, um, it is pretty sharp. It is holding an edge. Uh, I've been using it for, uh, for cutting, you know, core, power core. Uh, been doing some food prep with it. Uh, I've been doing some you know, light woodwork. I mean, this is not an, a you know your typical you know wood knife, but I I wanted to try some feathers before just for fun. I was playing with some of my axes and other knives and. Thought I'd you know give it a go, see how it performed. But uh, as you can see, it is uh, it is still quite sharp. This is almost uh, a bit uh, therapeutic in a sense. Let's go for one more. Once again, I would have liked it to be you know. There we go. So we get some uh, contrast going here. It is uh, it is a sharp knife. So if you really enjoy slicing paper, this might be a good one to go with. Let's uh, switch focus a tad bit here, remove this uh, magazine. So, let's do some, uh, some paracord cutting or slicing. Got a few different types and a few different uh, uh, sizes for diameter and stuff like that. So uh, this is quite thin. So I think we should go with like four, like to begin with. Not much of a challenge. Let's go with. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go with everything we have here right away. Maybe slightly overkill, but yeah, whatever. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, okay, that was not so much of an overkill. Um, here we have a, a lot, lot thicker power cord. Uh, let's go with, yeah, let's go with a double on it. Easy as pie. Let's see if we can. It's gonna be tight. Not bad. Pretty decent. Last but not least, we have a medium sized paracord here, but given how I just showed the thickest one, we should probably do something extreme with with what we have here. Give me a few seconds just to prepare this. That is going to be a bit overkill in a sense, but... Uh. Okay, so this is... Um, this is, well, this is maybe a bit extreme, but we need to take it to the next level, sort of. So that is how it will be. 
I don't even know how many <laughs> how many cords this is, but it is uh, a whole bunch of them, like seven meters uh, folded over here with a thickness of uh, around four millimeters in diameter each. So, did we get them all? Yeah, we, actually we got them all. It's not too bad, to be honest. It will cut, for sure. So, okay, we have some... Ah, this is too small. So, uh, uh, cutting paracord, yeah, that is a thing, so... Maybe we should actually cut some paper straight away. Like I said, this is uh, this is a sharp knife. Um, I like the steel used. I, I really do like CPM S ninety V. And despite having had limited experiences, I kind of know what to expect from the steel uh, when I got a knife. So, um, and I was not uh, I was not let down by the performance uh, of it. I'm gonna see if I can go to the fridge and find some some random uh, random food for a food prep video. Um, yeah, give me give me a few uh, a few seconds here, and I'll see what I can what I can find. So I didn't have a lot of fruit and stuff at home right now. Should probably bought some, but we do have some uh, some random some random fruits. Uh, we have a few grapes. Grapes do make you know good slicing tests so that is it's not too bad to be honest. And we also have an orange or two so uh, let's just uh, let's just go with uh, with what we um, with what we have to offer. So yeah let's Slice some grapes, I guess. Maybe we should zoom in a bit, to be honest. There we go. So, slicing grapes. That's a thing. I just realized I don't really like sitting down slicing. That's, it just feels... Feels strange in a way. So I'm actually I'm gonna stand up instead. Sitting like that is just... It feels uh, weird. So I mean, despite being, you know, semi, you know, thick, or in a, a thick spine there about four millimeters you can cut you know surprisingly like I said you can get some really really you know thin fine pieces here despite a blade thickness of four uh, four millimeters I mean, this is um, it's not too bad is it oops quite nice
and it's insanely thin. Come on, look at this. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Maybe I should make this my um, go-to knife for um, fruit salad. So let's uh, put these here on the on the side, and then we go for some. Um, some orange. Let's see what type of slices we want to do. Let's do like really thin slices like this. Not too bad, is it? I don't think so, at least, but... Uh... Really random fruit salad here. <laughs> too thin, even. So something different. So, I mean, kind of a random, you know, slicing test, uh, to be honest, I, I have to say that, but uh, still, you know, um, kind of representative uh, to the sharpness of, uh, of the knife here. So, uh, not too bad, uh, not too bad at all. So, let's... Uh, Let's clean this up a bit. Let's remove that. Let's, yeah, let's go with this one again. Whatever, just take a random page. It is, uh, it is sharp. I don't think I have a lot of uh, arm hair, otherwise I would try to shave some off. Uh, I'm not sure I can fit my, my foot or my leg up here on the table. I can try and then we can do some shaving of, of leg hair. Uh, give me a second, I'll see if I can actually do that. Uh, hold on here. This is uh, perhaps taking it a bit to the extreme, but uh, uh, yeah, whatever. Damn. Let's see if I have any. I don't have a whole lot of hair. I mean, it's uh, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> I don't have a lot of hair going on here. Let's see if we can zoom in. Like I said, I, I don't have a whole lot of hair left. To, I, you know, I. I mean, it will, uh, it will shave hair. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot to, uh, 
to go with in this video right now, but a little at least. The things you do for a full review. So, um, I guess, uh, I think that will kind of conclude this, uh, uh, this review, to be honest. Let's see if we can get this one a bit like that, and a bit like this, and we can get some, you know, last nice shots of this functional piece of art. One of my absolute favorite folders out of all the folders I own. And like I said, you know, for reference, I have folders made by Rick Hinderer, by Spartan Blades, Chris Reeve, V Knife, uh, Microtech, etc. And this one is still in the absolute top of them all. I love this one. I could, you know, I could easily see myself getting a backup one just to have. I'm not much for safe queens, but uh, but sometimes. Sometimes it's not bad having a backup. That is the Max Ace Amber 2S.